yeah, I'm super excited. Um, we're having guys come in from fall sports the last couple of weeks, so we'll have the, the whole team back for our first open gym with everybody back tomorrow morning, so I'm really looking forward to that. Guys have been getting after it, and I'm really excited for what this season's going to have. Gage, where do you feel like your game has expanded over the past summer? Um, I feel like no, I've gotten better with my ball handling. Um, but, uh, goals for the season? I've been bringing the ball up. Last year I was a point guard, which I, I hadn't been the past couple of years. So um, Coach Davidson kind of had me playing that position. So I've been really working on what that that holds at the point guard position. So I think I've kind of helped my my court wisdom and uh, my passing as well. It's kind of started to keep getting better. For sure. And this is a pretty experienced group that you bring back this year, including yourself. You know, how do you try to set the standard? for these guys and keep the winning ways going in Yeah, so we, we returned three starters and um, some other good bench guys that are, are going to be good senior leadership this year for our team. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, we've always had a, a great uh, toughness in the Blackhawk program and I think that's going to continue to go along with our seniors this year um, and it trickles down throughout the younger guys too. We'll have, we lost two, two senior starters from last year so we'll have two younger guys stepping in and I think they're going to do a great job and continue to be tough on and off the court. No one out last season ended in the regional rounds with a very good Central Noble team. Yep. How much is that a motivating factor for this year's group to uh, get back on, a, on another deep postseason run? So yeah, it's a, it's a great motivation. We fell short to what we thought we could get last year. Um, lost to a good team, like you said, but um, we have our, our sights set high for this year. Um, I think we got a, another special group and I think we can really make a good run. Oh, I can't wait. We have a good squad coming back. I like the players we got, and yeah, just ready to get things going. We've been, uh, what have you been working on this offseason? Uh, just always, you know, getting to the gym, getting jump shots up, and then, you know, always working the weight room, get quicker and stronger. As we mentioned with a couple of your guys, you know, pretty experienced group coming back. Um, just how do you try to set the example, you know, knowing this is your senior year? Yeah, I think the best way to, to uh, lead is just, you know, lead by example. And just, you know, coming in, working hard, being loud, bringing the energy, just doing all that stuff and helping the team win. Who are some folks you feel like can step up? Uh, you know, you did graduate a couple of seniors. Who are some of the folks that we should keep an eye on, you know, that maybe can have a bigger role this year? Yeah. Uh, Kellen Pickett, he'll be a sophomore this year. I think he'll be, he'll be good for us, about 6'9", and he can really score the ball. And then uh, Isaac Smith, he'll be a good shooter for us, another junior. So, yeah, a few more that are definitely be hustle players, good role players for us. Just keep, yeah. Just knowing that last season ended in the regional round, how much is that a motivating factor for this year's group? Oh, that's big. It's That game is always in the forefront of our minds and always using for extra motivation for this year and just ready to get back out there. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's been well, a lot of months now since we've last played a school basketball game and uh, just uh, going to open gym the past few months just just keep getting more excited every day I'm ready for it. Let's see a little bit on the AAU circuit uh, just that level where do you feel like your game has improved overall the summer? Uh -huh. I feel like I've expanded my game a little bit I've drawn it out to the mid-range a little bit more but my strong suit is still in the post and just making sure my free throw percentage is getting better and just make sure I'm finishing everything. Uh, pretty experienced group, like we talked about with some of your teammates. Uh -huh. uh, just how do you try to set an example uh, knowing this is your senior year? Uh, yeah, just lead by example. You know, if all three of us seniors are working hard every day, just bringing intensity, that'll the younger guys will follow that. And uh, we've uh, every year I've been here, everybody just came in and worked hard, and that's just kind of a part of the culture here at Blackhawk. No doubt. Uh -huh. Just uh, looking at how last me. year ended, what, what's very tough game of the regional the round. To how much has that been a motivating uh, factor for you and the guys? Uh, you know, that was that was a disappointing loss, but you know, yeah, we've been uh, getting back at it ever since, and uh, just ready for whatever this season has for us. Yeah, I mean, we're ready to go. I mean, it's it's fun for me, but it's fun because I can feel the excitement from the boys. Um, so we're patiently waiting for that November seventh date. Um, it's been fun watching all of our guys compete. You know, small school, ton of guys in fall sports. I know the bigger schools argue football. They've got plenty of guys too. But uh, it's been fun watching our guys compete, represent the school. Um, but I'm ready for it to be our turn. Obviously, you mentioned you know, official practices not starting until November. But you know, what's that adjustment period been like? Just trying to get to know the guys and get them comfortable with you. Yeah, it's it's gone really well. Um, you know, summer started out. 
um, just get used to each other, different different words, different ways that we uh, talk about what we want to get done. But at the same day, or at the same time, you know, every day it's same routine. Um, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So they had a, a really solid day-to-day -day routine in what they do. Um, so we've taken that and tried to build on it and uh, and hopefully elevate them up to where they're ready to go come season. When fans tune in to see Blackhawk Black, uh, Black Hawk Christian basketball this season, what, what should they expect from a stylistic standpoint? Uh, hopefully a lot of the same. Uh, we've got a talented group back, great upperclassmen, uh, some really talented young guys that are ready to make their mark on the program. So um, hopefully we can play fast. Hopefully we get up and down. Um, and then if we do have to slow down and guard, um, we've got the athletes to be able to do it. So. Hopefully a fun and exciting brand of basketball that sees a bunch of guys playing together. I was going to say, just knowing the uh, upperclassmen you have this year, just how much, how important is it uh, that they set the standard for the younger guys? Oh, they've already set it. Um, they set it every day when they come in, they work out. Um, and it's not even the basketball stuff. It's getting guys in the weight room before school on their own without my – Super, not supervision, but my idea. Like they've, they'll tell the young guy, "Well, you got to get in the weight room. You've got to do this, or you've got to get in the gym with us in the morning." So, they've already set that standard. The culture's there, um, and it's doing well. Um, you know, our upperclassmen set that every day, but the younger, younger guys are ready to make their impact, and uh, that's going to be exciting to watch as the season goes on. See who rises to the occasion and is ready to take advantage of the opportunity.